Hello everyone, it's me, Clayton, and I just watched The Crudes A New Age. Now, Chris Sanders, back in 2013, was able to release this caveman-centered comedy, which was ultimately a decent film. Not one of the DreamWorks' best films, but it was definitely a film with a lot of humor, a lot of heart, and a comedy that, while not evolved, was certainly entertaining. It launched a new franchise for DreamWorks that also included a Netflix series, but now, seven years after the original film came out, a new age has come for the Croods as they meet the Bettermans. Let's get to the story, shall we? The story follows pretty much exactly after the first film left off. With Guy, voiced by Ryan Reynolds, and Eep, played by Emma Stone, falling, continuing to fall in love, much to the chagrin of Grug, played by Nicolas Cage, that is until Guy finds the place that his parents wanted him to find. His Tomorrow, a more evolved piece, piece of land amongst the wasteland that they are traveling in, that essentially is a huge oasis full, filled with food, more modern technology, and filled with a family that are essentially the friends of Guy's parents. The Bettermans, with the father pl played by Peter Dinklage, the mother played by Leslie Mann, and the daughter Dawn played by Kelly Marie Tran a.k.a. Rose from Star Wars, but don't worry, she's not nearly as annoying. So, while it seems like some of the family members actually get along with the Bettermans, and it seems like their ways actually improve life for some of them, Grug is more than a little suspicious of, uh, of the Bettermans, specifically the patriarch Phil. And that's all I'll get to the- that's all I'll say about the story without spoiling anything. What I liked about this film is definitely the fact that it felt like it had more things to say about... Uh, uh, more themes to say than the first film. That's not to say the first film didn't have any themes or had much or had a bad story at all, it just felt like the first film's story and characters and themes were predictable throughout. And they have... and they had elements that you've seen beforehand in other films. Like Eep's arc was similar to Merida's from Brave, Grug's arc of a father learning to let go of his daughter. We've seen a ton of romantic comedies in the past. Though the humor and the great performances were able to make it at least enjoyable, although it was cliched. And even though we have seen this storyline before in other films, we haven't seen it nearly as often. And the talented voice cast just gets more great voices to work with, with Peter Dinklage, Leslie Mann, and Kelly Marie Tran, all of which, all of whom deliver great performances as the Bettermans, and they even have some good chemistry with some of the cast. Then again, when you have Nicolas Cage working off of anyone, it's going to be fun. But when you have Nicolas Cage working with Tyrion Lannister for most of the film, it certainly makes for some effect, some effectively humorous exchanges. Same for Emma Stone and Kelly Marie Tran as Eep and Dawn. They certainly become an interesting uh, group of girlfriends in that sense. Even the grandma from the first film, who only had a couple of lines that I remember, gets to have her own little subplot in this film. And in my opinion, they do a lot more with her character for a lot of the darker jokes and a lot of the more... And she even gets to participate quite a lot in the film's climax, which definitely has vibes of a superhero film if it's set in the prehistoric age. And and I swear I will never get the Thunder Sisters song out of my head. The animation is also about on the same level as the first film, ever so slightly better. Not DreamWorks' best animation, but it's colorful, cartoony, and certainly has a lot of personality to it. And last thing I'll say about this film is that it certainly manages to be a film that you can watch even if you haven't seen the Netflix series. It's not required viewing. You can go into this film only seeing the first film and you can completely understand everything that's going on. So, it's good for those who haven't seen the Netflix series. So, as a whole, I really do think The Croods A New Age is a superior sequel. Not perfect in any sense, but its characters, animation, themes, and its explosive ending really do make it, I think, one of the better DreamWorks sequels. That's why I'm going to give Crudes the New Age an 8 out of 10. See you next time.